In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze a website's backlink profile using a free tool called Open Link Profiler. And you can visit openlinkprofiler.org to get access to the tool. Now, before we get into the details of it, I'll explain uh, the backlink is simply a link from one website to another website, hopefully yours. And the reason backlinks are so important is because they're still one of the primary ranking factors uh, for websites. So the more trusted quality backlinks you have to your website, typically the more authority, more trust, and hopefully more rankings that you get or more organic visibility you'll get for your website. So um, having access to a good tool that lets you analyze backlink profiles is critical for a number of reasons. The first one is you can find out who is linking to your website and you can also find out who is linking to your competitors. And if it's a link that you wanna get, you can then go and chase it down. The second reason you want uh, to know how to analyze a backlink profile is that you need to be able to look at your existing backlinks and determine whether they are causing your website harm. And I'll explain why. In the past, um, manipulative uh, spammy link building activities or practices were, were used to get websites ranking high in Google. And as Google has been able to update the way that it ranks websites, it started to penalize websites which were um, partaking, I guess, in manipulative linking practices. So being able to look at your link profile and understand the risks involved in your link profile will give you a better um, you know, it'll give you a better understanding of the risks and then you can make some decisions about how to clean up those links and get rid of the spammy ones so that you can avoid getting penalized. Um, the other the other reason you want to have access to this to a tool like this is so that you can track and monitor the um, results of your marketing activities. So if you're publishing content for the purpose of getting links, um, you can at least track and see who's linking to you. And then if people link to you, you can then reach out to them and you know develop some other marketing strategies. So Back to Open Link Profiler. So in this case here, what I'm going to use is two websites as examples. One is my own blog um, because the link profile is moderate and I'll show you what to look for. So all you do is put in the URL here and then click Analyze Backlinks. But before I do that, just be aware that Google treats this part of the URL um, as a separate website. So some websites you'll see out there that don't have www, so they might just be onlinekickstart.com and some do. And the issue is sometimes you can't prevent people from linking to one or the other. So um, just be aware that sometimes it's worth checking both the version of the URL with or without www just to see where all the links are. Some of the tools are great because they'll say, show me everything on the on what's called the root domain. So onlinekickstart.com, www.onlinekickstart.com, etc. So just be aware that those are two differences. So in this case, let's just click analyze backlinks. So the tool goes away, gets the details, and here we go. So what we can see from this dashboard is that there are 478 backlinks from 31 unique domains. And in this case here, this is the real number we're trying to chase. We want to get more unique websites linking to you. So looking at this dashboard here, you can see there's a list of all of the links that are linking to you. So classic example, come down here. So this is the page title and link source of the link that's coming to you. And this is the anchor text and link destination. Uh, the next step you can, the next thing you can look at is um, to look at what's called the anchor text. And in this case here, the anchor text is the keyword or keyword phrase that is used in the link towards you. Now, the reason this is important to understand is that in the past, for example, to rank for, say, car insurance, you would chase links that said car insurance in them. Um, and the issue was that, that was very easy to game for a period of time. Now Google's all over that. So if you do that sort of thing, you are risking getting penalized. Uh, so in this case here, if we look at the anchor text links on my onlinekickstart.com, you can see that the majority link to my website with my brand name, my name and URLs. So it's a good natural link profile. And this is a, I guess a, a visual word chart of all of the different types of texts that are used in the links. And this is the, the way to look at this is if it's natural, if it's primarily consisting of your brand or your URL or just generic text, that's what you want to see. If, for example, this was all car insurance, car insurance or SEO consultant, SEO consultant, that smacks of being manipulative. And people, Google knows people typically don't link like that. So that's why um, you look at anchor texts. And the rest of Open Link Profiler has a selection of other tools that give you a sense of the link, the link profile. One, one thing I do like is this 
feature of the tool called Link Contexts. And if you click on Link Contexts, it'll tell you uh, the context of the link that's coming towards you. So looking at this chart, you can see that the majority of links that are coming to my website are coming from blogs. There are some from conference venues or websites, which are great. There's some review sites and some event sites, which is great. The reality is the tool has a challenge in um, classifying a lot of the links. So the majority of them are sitting in this block called standard, but it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good little uh, tool to give you an insight into how other websites are getting links. So for example, there are websites where they um, do sponsorships, club sponsorships, and that's their link building strategy. And this sort of tool makes that obvious. So you can point your competitor's website at, and put it into this tool and it'll give you a real sense of how your competitors are getting links. Uh, the other thing to look at is the countries from where you're getting links. Um, so it's an interesting mix of countries. So that's, that's good to see. Um, what this is helpful for is that, for example, um, let's say I was primarily an Australian business or an American business, but all of my links were coming from countries, say, where um, you know it's known that you can go and purchase cheap manufactured links, places like, uh, say, for India, for example, or Russia, or um, some parts of Asia, where you know it was it used to be that you could go and get um, manufactured links done really cheaply and at scale. And Google can see where they're coming from. And so, unless you have a naturally diverse, broad link profile, it's a potential risk for you. Um, this uh, menu item here, this LIS distribution, um, this is their link influence score. Every one of these link building tools has a, a, a metric that it uses to try to say whether this is a good link or a bad link in terms of its influence on you. Um, Google used to have this concept called page rank, which was effectively a measure of the authority of the page that was linking to you. So LIS or linking influence score is simply open link profilers version of that. And so looking at this, it tells you that the links coming to my website, the majority of them are moderate to low influence links. There are a couple here that have a very high link influence score. And if it's a guide for anything, it means to try to chase links from websites that have a high link influence or authority or trust or whatever that metric may be. Um, there are other aspects of the tool which can measure link age and subdomains as well. Um, but that's primarily it. It's um, a pretty good tool. It's free, which is awesome. Um, but as a tool to let you quickly analyze your backlink profile, um, it's great. Um, it gives you some good information here. The only thing that I um, that is missing for me, I suppose, is the ability to say, just show me uh, all of the all of the links um, from one domain instead of showing me every single link. Because, for example, if if I was just to sort um, sorted by, let's say, the source URL. Um, what happens sometimes is that you can get a, uh, a link in the sidebar or blog roll of a blog. And if that blog is huge, let's say it has a several thousand pages on it, it ends up being several thousand links and they all line up here. And sometimes it's just good to know, give me a list of the referring domains, which in this case are 31. So remember, the big, the big thing you wanna chase is number of unique active uh, referring domains. That's the big one. So that's just basically the number of unique websites. And that's pretty much it. So that's a quick review of Open Link Profiler. Now I'm going to show you what uh, the data looks like on a large website, for example. So in Australia, we have a, 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 a car insurance quotes comparison website called iSelect. And I'm going to pop that into Open Link Profiler and see what it tells us. Click the get back link data and away it goes. Right, so you can see iSelect.com.au has 39,000 backlinks coming from 555 unique domains. The majority of them are linking to the home page and primarily finance industry, which is interesting. So you can see all of these different links. Now let's say I was to sort by LIS or their measure of link influence score. And what you can see here is that, and this is very important when you're looking at a competitor website, if you're looking for their best sources of links, come in here and sort by link influence score. And you can see that the link at the top will have the highest influence. And in this case, these are 
it's in Australia. This is a current affair. It's a very popular TV show. Um, lots of those sorts of links there. And if you want to understand the nature of the link, just click on that. Let's go have a look at the link. See if it's one that we conceivably could get. I'd suggest uh, a lot of these links are as a result of the relationship between these businesses. So this is the current affair website. Um, we're just slowly loading. And you'll have to dig around and try to find the link to iSelect. I would suggest in this case here, knowing that they're related entities. Here we go. If you look down here in the footer, you can see that this in fact, iSelect is a business that is owned by 9MSN. You see that? And there's the link there. So what that tells us is this is a footer link, which means it's on every page of this website this 9MSN website, and it's linking back to iSelect. And so just by looking at that, knowing that it's a, a business, associated business, it's not a link that we can get. So then I could just move on and start to ignore that and filter that out. So that's basically how you use it. Sit there, browse through the link profile, have a look and see what uh, links are available that you think you can get for your website. And if it's a submission-based one, go ahead and submit. If it's a content-based one, it'll give you some ideas about content that you can create and promote that will get similar links. And that's Open Link Profiler, um, a great free tool to analyze your backlinks, to let you look at backlinks of competitors and to get an understanding of whether your link profile is safe or over-optimized or it's good quality. Uh, look out for the next video where I'll be reviewing another tool, a paid tool this time, um, that will give us similar but different information about the link profiles.